In this video, you will learn about geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed non-zero constant called the common ratio, denoted by letter R. Here's one sequence that is geometric. We have 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, up to 243. Here, what makes it geometric? It is because the same number is being multiplied from the first term to get the next one. Say the first term here is 1. It is being multiplied to 3 to get the second term, which is 3. And then for the second and third term, the second term is 3. It is also multiplied with the same number, which is 3, to result to the third term, which is 9. Next, our third term, which is 9, is being multiplied to another 3 to become the fourth term term which is 27 and so on so if the same constant is being multiplied or divided to each and every term to get the next term that is a geometric sequence now let us try these four sequences to see which one is geometric and which one is not geometric so for number one we have 2 4 8 16 and 32 what is being multiplied to 2 to become 4 it is times 2. Next, what is being multiplied to 4 to become 8? Also times 2. How about 8 to 16? Okay, it is also doubled, so you have times 2. From 16 to 32, also times 2. So in other words, it has the same number that is being multiplied from the previous term to obtain the next term. Then, item 1 is geometric. Next item number 2. 1, 4, 12, 24, and so on and so forth. So, from the first item, what is being multiplied from 1 to become 4? Okay, that is times 4. Next, what is being multiplied to 4 to become 12? Okay, that's times 3. Next, what is being multiplied to 12 to become 24? Okay, it's times 2. So, since it is doubled. Therefore, since you have different multipliers in every term, from one term to another, then it is not geometric. Okay, for the third item, we have 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, and so on. So we can see from this item here that we have a positive, negative, alternating sequence. So what is being multiplied from 1 to obtain the next term, which is negative 1? Okay, that is times negative 1. Next, for the second to the third term, negative 1 is being multiplied to another negative 1 to obtain positive 1. The same is being multiplied for the third to the fourth term. Fourth to fifth, the same also, that is times negative 1. And now, since we have the same multiplier here, which is negative 1, it's constantly multiplied by negative 1 to obtain the next term, then number 3 is geometric. For the last item, we have 1, 10, 100, 1,000. So from 1, we have times 10 to obtain the next term, right? Next, 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And we can see that the same number is being multiplied to each and every term from the starting point, which is 1. So in other words, this is geometric. Now, these items here... 1, 3, and 4, they are geometric. Now, for item 1, we can actually write its common ratio, the one that's been mentioned earlier. The common ratio is just the number that is being multiplied to each and every term of a geometric sequence. So for number 1, our common ratio, R, is just equal to 2. Next, for the third item, the common ratio is negative 1. For number 4, the common ratio is Okay, now for 10. those of you who has a little hard time finding R or this common ratio, the, there is a formula for R. That is, you just divide the second term by the first term. Okay? So we have A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. Like for item number 1, the second term here is 4 divided to 2. RR is just equal to 2. 
quick, right? For the third item, we have here 1, negative 1 as our first and second term. So, make sure to always put the second term first on the numerator. So, negative 1 divided by 1. And that is just negative 1. So, they are, for number 3, is the same, negative 1. Number 4, we have the second term, which is 10, divided by the first term, which is 1. So, 10 divided by 1 is just 10. So, you get the same answer for geometric common ratio. With our geometric sequence here, the first term is 1, the second term is 3, the third term is 9, and then the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth term is unknown. So we'll try to solve it later after getting the common ratio or R. So the formula for co the common ratio is A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. So our second term divided by the first term. So we have here 3 divided by 1, and that is just equal to 3. You can also get um, any other con two consecutive terms from your geometric sequence to solve for R. Say we have here 9 and 3 for the third and the second term. So here we have 9 divided by 3. And that is just 3. Okay, so next would be we will use that value of our common ratio to get the missing term. So we will just multiply 3 to 9. So that is 27. Next, 27 times 3, we have 81. And the next term, or the last term rather, we have 81 times 3, which is 243. Okay, let us try this exercise to find the common ratio. So we are going to use the formula R is equal to A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, or the second term divided by the first term. So for item number 1, we have 2, 6, 18, and 54. Our second term here is 6, divided by the first term, which is 2. 6 divided by 2 is just 3. So the common ratio for 1 is 3. Next, number 2, we have negative 1, 2, negative 4, and 8. So our second term here is 2, divided by the first term, which is negative 1. So the quotient there is just negative 1. 2. So our r is equal to negative 2. Next, for 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, we have 1 sixteenth. So r is equal to, our second term is 1 half divided by the first term which is 1. So 1 half divided by 1 is just 1 half. Next, for number 4, we have 100, 10, 1, 1 tenths, and 1 hundredths. So that is, the second term there is 10. Our first term is 100. So dividing the two values, we have 1 over 10. Okay, write the first five terms of the geometric sequence given the first term or a sub 1 and the common ratio or r. So for the first item, our a sub 1 or first term is just equal to 2 and our r is equal to 2 as well. So for our solution, we will start off with the first term, which is 2, and then make use of our common ratio, which is R. Take note, the common ratio is to be multiplied to each and every term to get the next term. So, we have here for the second term, we'll only multiply R from the first one. So, 2 times 2 is just equal to 4. Times another 2, we have 8. Times 2, we have 16. And times 2, we have 32. So, the first five terms of our sequence is 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Next, what if we write the first four terms of the geometric sequence given the first one and the common ratio? The um, first term here is 1 and the common ratio is negative 6. So again, I'll start off with the first term which is 1 and multiply that one to our common ratio which is negative 6. So 1 times negative 6 is just negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 6 is 36. Next, 36 times another negative 6 is negative 216. Thus, the first four terms of our sequence is 1, negative 6, 36, and negative 216.